How old is Jason today? One. Jason Waller's childhood in sunny Laguna Beach, California was idyllic. I grew up in a very structured family. Mom and dad, who were great parents, had you know three siblings and the youngest of four. Played a lot of sports growing up. Family did a lot of trips. We'd spend a lot of time skiing. It was a very privileged life. Jason was 17 and away at boarding school when reality TV producers invaded Laguna Beach to cast a new docu-soap. It was weird having your life being displayed on television. But before we knew it, you know, we got news that the show was the number one show on cable. As the bad boy from Laguna Beach and the Hills, Jason Waller was constantly in the doghouse with girlfriend Lauren Conrad. People loved tuning in every week to see their on-again, off-again relationships. But the sort of underlying story was that his alcohol addiction is what really caused the wedge in the relationship. I'm hurting right now, so the, the last night I had too much fun, so I'm taking it easy tonight. I have to, I can barely stand. Before long, you kind of forgot that Jason was a part of reality TV because the real show was all the trouble that he was getting into on the party circuit. At 18, 19 years old, most of your friends are looking for fake IDs where I was being paid to travel the world and party. Basically, people would offer you money to come to these clubs. I did 30 states in six months. You'd show up with a couple buddies, go there for two hours, get paid, get whatever you wanted. It was like a tour, but our talent was drinking. At the time, I thought it was the most amazing thing, but little did I know, I was a super, super sick individual. I was in the depths of addiction. I was not in a spot to be in any sort of relationship with anybody. I couldn't take care of myself, let alone be a companion in a relationship. When I was filming Laguna, the addiction was there, don't get me wrong, but it was not ignited. Going into the hills, it got worse. I don't blame the entertainment business or, you know, the shows for that. I had the disease. It's if you have the ism, you have the ism. Making matters worse, Jason tried to live up to the hype of his rock star reputation. I had an overinflated ego with an underestimated sense of self-worth. So I, I really was utilizing alcohol and materialistic stuff, trying to, you know, basically prove who I really was. That's not how I felt about myself. You know, deep down I was really suffering, I was miserable. My disease was so bad, it wasn't fun anymore. Even though he was no longer on TV, Jason continued to make headlines because every time you turned around, he was getting arrested or getting into a fight, and it all was really the result of his alcoholism. I felt horrible about it, but I'd be sitting there drinking, saying, I can't believe I did that again. I got arrested four times in six months in four different states. There was one judge that didn't matter what we did with any lawyers we had. He basically said, you're going to jail.